Prince William and Kate, Princess of Wales, would have been criticized by ardent royalists for choosing a name like Princess Eugenie has for her child, a royal commentator has said. But Pauline McLaren, author of the 2015 book Royal Fever, told Express, UK that had the Waleses chosen a more unusual name, it may well have been popular with the younger generation. Unlike those further down the line of succession, heirs do not have as much liberty when it comes to choosing baby names. Instead, they have to be mindful of the tradition and heritage they embody when naming their offspring, she explained. Princess Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooks Bank announced that she gave birth to her second son, called Ernest George Ronnie Brooks Bank, on May 30. Just as with her first son August, the 33-year-old broke with tradition and posted on Instagram to share the happy news of the family's new arrival. Ernest who is now 13th in line to the throne, moving Prince Edward down to 14th place, is named after his great-great-great-grandfather George, his grandpa George and my grandpa Ronald, according to her Instagram post. The baby's name does act as a subtle nod to tradition as King George V's middle name was Ernest and baby Brooksbank's middle names pay tribute to Jack's late father George Brooksbank and Eugenie's maternal grandfather, Major Ronald Ferguson. Ms. McLaren believes that had William and Kate chosen this name say for Prince Louis, it might have caused some consternation. The professor of marketing and consumer research at Royal Holloway University said, they would have been criticized by ardent royalists I think who would have seen this as a departure from royal tradition. However, this departure might equally well have been welcomed by a younger generation, many of whom feel the monarchy is an outdated institution. Many of the royal families share names that are in keeping with tradition. Since Queen Victoria and Prince Albert's time on the throne, nine royal babies have been given the former's name with twelve being given the latter. Similarly, the name Louis is popular in the royal family as it is Prince William and Prince George's middle name. Prince Louis was also named after King Charles' mentor Lord Louis Mountbatten. Don't miss! King George V was murdered by his personal doctor, historian claims, analysis, the one home King Charles will never sell as monarch gives up Welsh cottage, report, expert claims August Brooks Bank will be protective over his new brother Ernest, insight, but generally as one is further down the line of succession, it is acceptable for a child to be given a more unique name. She explained that royals who are not in direct line to the throne, especially non-working royals, are freer to name their children according to their personal preferences. Ernest's older brother called August, nicknamed Augie and Princess Beatrice named her daughter Sienna. Princess Anne's son Peter Phillips named his children Savannah and Isla. Meanwhile, Zara and Mike Tyndall have called their children Mia, Lena, and Lucas. And Prince Harry stepped away from tradition in a sense, naming his children Archie and Lilibet, after Queen Elizabeth's nickname. Ms. McLaren believes that as time goes on, it is unlikely that this will change in the future as names are a way of keeping with tradition. She added, the choice of their children's names reflects that heritage and its perpetuation so I think it's very unlikely that George will change that by choosing less traditional names in the future. Members of the royal family reportedly share their choices with the monarch before announcing the child's name. But that's not to say that the sovereign has to approve of a name, although they can veto them. The monarch does however decide which titles will be bestowed upon the royal baby. 
Ms. McLaren's 2015 book Royal Fever, The British Monarchy and Consumer Culture is available here.